here in this leotard this morning. We are also going to show you how to play simple games with your children to help them in development. Things like your pots and pans in your kitchen can be used. But first, everybody up, okay? Even at home, get up, because we're going to show you how to have thin thighs in 30 days. I think that's something we all want now that summer's upon us. Right, ladies? Right. right. Okay, Wendy, Wendy Staling is a lady who lives in New York, is an ad executive, and her inspiration were models and the beautiful women that came through the office door. She mm -hmm. has written this little book called Thin Thighs that is great. How are you, Wendy? Hi, I Let's start out with time. How much time do you have to spend a day? All right. You have to spend between six and ten minutes a day doing exercises, around a half an hour a day walking, the walk off, and you have to watch your calories, which takes no time at all. Just willpower. All right, we're going to get into exercises, okay. right. but why walking rather than running? Walking is something you don't have to train for. Running, you have to train. Walking, you can walk right out the door and you can walk a couple miles. Anybody can do that. You say you burn off uh, 450 calories in a half hour Piece walk? Piece of pizza. Piece of pizza. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Or six donuts in an hour. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. But that's for the thighs. That's the walking and getting the circulation and going. And we should get up this morning and get going, Let's too. Let's get going. Okay. All right. Our first exercises. The first exercise, this is the work off, is a kickety split. Stay Stand up. Don't worry about it. You're a little off balance first. Put your feet together like a bell and your heels together and your arms out. And you're going to bring your right leg to your elbow, one, and then you're going to bring your ankle to your hand. Take it slow, two. What this is great for is saddlebags. I mean, we're not horses. Why should we have saddlebags? The saddle call them homes. <laughs> the little things you get here, right? We're going to do one more on the right, and now we're going to go to the left side. Keep your balance. Hold on to something if you have to. Kick. I mean, hold on to you, Wendy. <laughs> you can really feel it working. And you right can work here. up to being proficient at this. Yeah. I mean, if you can't get your leg all the way up in the beginning like me, you can just keep going. Absolutely. Right? We're going to do one more. I'm not very graceful at this, but boy, does it really work. Now we're going to sit down and we're going to get on our backs and we're going to do the thigh end. Now you have to protect the small of your back yes. doing this, right? And normally you'd put a towel or a pillow, but for now we're going to use our hands to support our back. Put your soles together. You're gonna lower knees open. Like a frog. Open at your legs like a frog. Okay. Back together again right. and up. That's one. This exercise is wonderful for your inner thighs. You know how your inner thighs slap together when you walk? <laughs> I hate yes. that. <laughs> well, that'll take care of that. This is a, a one. I'm sure there are wonderful camera shots on this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more. Uh, you should do these exercises slowly. Feel your thighs getting thinner you really, and longer. How about working, as Jane Fonda says, working out until you feel a burn? I think Is that good? I, I don't know. I think you should do enough exercise where you feel like you've worked. I question whether you should burn. I want to know if everybody at home is burning. Come on, do these okay. with us. Now, everybody, get on your stomach. Put your hands down and rest your head on your hands. This mm -hmm. is called the thigh rise. Don't you just hate it when you have a droopy fanny? Well, this will take care of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lift your legs up about eight inches. All Bend at the knees at 90 degree angle and pause. Straighten your legs out and lower. Oh boy, really feel that. Yep. Raise your legs again. Bend at the knees. Straighten and lower. We're just going to do one more of these. You can really feel. Oh, you really can firm. feel it. The, the nice thing about thin thighs in 30 days is it gives you a nice, sexy, firm rear end. Guys love that. And I, if anybody watched Miss USA last night, we know how we all long for that. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now the next two exercises are wonderful for making pants fit great. The first one is called the wing kick. Hands on the hips, spread your legs out comfortably. You don't have to point your toes. You just mainly have to keep your back straight. Okay. Lift the right leg up six inches, over to the left, pause, back, and down. We're gonna do three of these. Up, pause, Oh, I can't back, tell you and how down. you one feel more this. This is wonderful for pants. Now we're gonna do the other leg. Lift it up about six inches. You can really feel it. You know how pants can really bunch and jeans yes. get tight? We're going to do one more of these. And down. Well, this will take care of that. And next. Uh, kick, it is, kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, is, kick, 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 kick. Hands on your hips. Bend your left leg. Put it by your right knee. And we're going to go kick, kick, down, down. This is another one for pants. Kick, kick, down. Down. One more. Kick, kick, down, down. We'll switch legs. Kick, kick, down, down. Feel it? Oh, yes. I feel it so much I can't talk. <laughs> One more. And we'll have thin thighs this morning, all right? Oh, really? You know, there's such a burning and a pulling all through here, but that means it's working. Right. You say this, these exercises are good for varicose veins. 
Um, the walking is very good, and so is the exercising. When you walk, you increase your circulation and get the muscles toned up, and it does help varicose veins. It helps prevent them, it helps them go away, in too. This, are you, you section off things in this little book, and you've got the, the, way, the work off? The walk off and the weight off. Okay, the work off we just did. Yes, we just did the work off. Now the, the walk off, talk about that because you chart everything that you should do daily so that in 30 days you're really in good shape. Yeah, you have a diary in the back you follow. The walk off is brisk walking a couple miles a day. In my experience, exercise alone won't get thin thighs. You've got to really get those muscles. You've been sitting on them. We all got the flab from sitting. So I think walking has worked very well. So walk, walk, walk a couple miles. You're walking off the inches. You're walking off the flab. And you'll see how much time you have to do it in the back of the diary. The weight off is simply watching your calories. I don't advocate starvation or weirdo diets. I mean, I hate grapefruit. And I hate hard-boiled eggs. None of that stuff. It's just counting your calories. And there's a chart in the book that will tell you roughly how many calories for your height you should be having in, in relationship to your age. And, and actually, else. it's amazing. I was reading last night. The calorie intake is pretty high for maintaining and, and pretty high even for losing if you continue, if you do the whole program. Yeah, it's not too bad. You, you don't really starve to death. But you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, do I need to lose some weight? Because to get thin thighs in 30 days, you have to do all three things and it'll all work for you. And you follow the diary. If you eat six donuts, you got to write eight. How many donuts. minutes total for the walk-off and the work-off? About 40 minutes. 40 minutes a day. Yeah. Well, I tell you, if you, if you want to look good in a bathing suit this summer uh, yeah. or in your pants, it's a good thing to do. It's all right, it. let's do a good day exercise going out, can we? Is all there right. something we can do? Uh, why don't we all get up and do the kickity split again? All right, kickity okay, this split. Is, this is the go. one so we don't look like horses with saddlebags. How, okay? long, how long would it take me to get thin thighs if I did this for a whole hour and a half? <laughs> I think you'd have them by then. <laughs> okay, right leg.